Are you afraid? This is a story written by me from the perspective of what I believe was going on through the head of a shoplifter I watched at Walmart. For a little backstory and context, this was well before the pandemic when Walmart was open all night long. I used to go up there on occasions to walk around for absolutely no reason. I'm sure we've all done it. I went with a friend of mine and we sat there and watched the entire thing go down near the clothing aisle. If you're wondering, yes, of course I'm making fun of this person because at one point I knew her very well. And she is nowhere near being a good person in the least. So at any angle you look at it, she's a terrible person and is subject to criticism, as you'll find out. I'll do her a single favor and change her name for privacy. This is how her story went. So my name is Aaron, and sometimes life just isn't fair. The world is out to get me, and I have no clue why. So, I just got done doing a load of pills at my boyfriend's friend's house, since we live on the couch and don't pay rent. The guy was such a sucker. My boyfriend told him he was going to pay rent for the both of us, and he just hasn't. We're going to stay there as long as possible and eat all the food in the house. We have food stamps, but that's for us. After we left the house, we went up to Walmart down the street. I was planning on grabbing some snack foods, but whatever came my way, I guess. We drove up there in a hot car, and I don't mean the air was broke. Well, it was, but that's a different point. Once we walked in, we saw a few people we knew, and I think they both hate me, but I'm not so sure. I'm also not sure why. They seem to keep their distance these days. I only talked some shit, and got several of our old friends to never talk to them again. I have no clue why they don't like me. So I walked around the store with my boyfriend and decided on some stuff I wanted. I had one of those giant shopping bags that you put a lot of stuff in, but I was only looking for a few things. I grabbed a few things from the back, and they went into the bag. I also walked over to the pharmacy, and a few things from there went into the bag, if you know what I mean. I finally started walking around the clothing aisle and found a few things that I wanted. Some of the things in there could fit in my bra, so I stuffed them in there. Suddenly I felt a tap on my shoulder. When I turned around, one of the Walmart employees stood there telling me that they saw me stuffing things into my bra. I don't know how they knew, but I told him I wasn't doing that. The employee kept berating me to take the things out and put them back but I kept telling her that I didn't take anything. She actually had the nerve to call the manager over and accuse me of stealing. I was, and I fully intended to, but they didn't need to know that. The manager came over, and I started trying to walk away, but several employees surrounded me and wouldn't let me leave. I kept telling them to let me go with the saddest puppy dog eyes I could make. They just bullied me into staying in the circle. I noticed Ozzy was standing over there at the registers, watching them bully me, and I know the poor guy felt sorry for me because he couldn't do anything to save me. The situation was just so unfair, and I don't know why it was happening to me. The police came and started searching me in the store. They found the stuff that I stuffed in my bra and pulled it out. I told him I was going to pay for it, but they didn't believe me. They kept saying something about not having a wallet on me to pay for it, something like that. I tried to run from them after they mentioned arrest, but I got tackled to the floor. But I managed to kick someone in the face. After they arrested me, I was put in the back of a cop car. Can you even believe it? They arrested me for something so stupid. They also searched my boyfriend's car and arrested him as well. He tried to leave me in the store and to get away, but they caught him outside. He almost got away with the stuff that he lifted. None of this was fair, and I shouldn't have been arrested. I just don't know why I had to go to jail that night. Some people have no self-awareness. This woman I encountered in Walmart was one of the strangest people I've ever met. But it didn't end with just a strange encounter. I'm a female that's 23 years old. 
When I walked into Walmart to get food for that night, I walked by this old woman riding on a scooter, looking up and down the shelf. She called me over to ask where something was, and I told her I was sorry I didn't know. She then got a little rude and started complaining about how the employees don't do their jobs. And in that moment, it occurred to me that she thought I worked there. I didn't have a name tag on or a blue shirt. I didn't have any visual indication that I worked there at all. I told her I didn't work there, but I could go get someone for her. She says, I asked you to help and you didn't help. She took a little while to turn her scooter around to face me while still running her mouth. I went back to trying to find what I was looking for in that time. She drove her scooter over to me to bump me in the leg, which hurt a lot. I told her to stop running into me, and she ran into me again a few seconds later. I asked her to stop and ask her what her problem was. You need to help me! I told her again that I didn't work there, and she ran into me again. I think by this point she knew I didn't work there, and she was just being a bitch. She ran into me once more before I told her I was going to pull her off the cart she was on. Her flappy jaw dropped and said, I'm calling the police. You can't go around threatening people. I told her to go ahead if she wants this to end badly. She followed me around the store as I went about my own business, and she called the police. The story she gave was that I just walked up to her and started threatening her for no reason. The police found us in the store, and I told him she assaulted me with her cart. I reminded them that she was also on camera doing it, and I had no problem walking up to the office to have them check the footage. That's what they did. Once they checked the footage, they asked me if I wanted to press charges, and I had to think about it for a moment, but I didn't. I just told them I wanted her to leave. She was told to get out of the store, but she sat there and argued with the police as I walked away. I didn't want any more to do with that situation, so I headed home. Hopefully the old woman will learn her lesson, but I doubt it. How she got this far in life treating people like that, it baffles me to no end. I was minding my own business at Walmart, and this guy had a stick up his ass. This was during the start of the pandemic, and everyone was required to use a mask. There was a lot of politics going around, and suddenly everyone was an expert on rights and freedoms. Just for this, I'll explain how this works. In a private business, such as Walmart, Target, gas stations, and the like, have the freedoms to impose their own rules and conduct in the store. GameStop in my area has a no profanity rule, and they will kick you out if you break it. They're lenient, but it keeps the assholes out. The same applies to websites who have site rules and policies. So that's how it works. Walmart at the time had a simple rule. Wear a mask, or don't come in. There's nothing else attached to it besides keeping people from spreading. I was over by that little stand at the deli where they sell sandwiches, and I watched a guy walk in and start yelling at the employees. They were telling him about how he needed to wear a mask to come in. He stopped listening to them and walked past them. None of those tiny girls wanted to be hurt, so they just let him walk away. Pretty good choice. I saw one pull a radio from her pocket, though. So he came over to the area I was in, and they stopped him again. This time it was a really huge guy in a manager's jacket. They started again, but this time it was right next to me. I audibly said, Oh my god. The brainless moron turned to me and started yelling at me. You got something to say, bitch? Say something! The manager tried to get his focus back on him and leave me alone, but he wouldn't drop it. He started yelling at me that he was going to slap my teeth out. I said, dude, just leave me alone. And I genuinely wanted to be left alone. I started to walk away, and he jumped in front of me and wouldn't let me leave. The manager was still trying to get his focus off of me, but yet again he still wouldn't drop it. 
someone had already called the cops and they were storming in. I guess they were just in the parking lot. The guy shifted focus to them finally when they walked up and started yelling about how the store manager was infringing on his rights and said that he wanted me kicked out of the store. How hypocritical was that? I did nothing, yet he wanted me out of the store. But he was asked to leave because of breaking a rule, and he throws a fit? So the guy rampaged on until the police put him in handcuffs and dragged him out of the store. I stood far away from him and watched the whole thing happen. I know this is just another anti-masker story, but this was one I encountered myself and saw with my own eyes. It's way different seeing it in real life, other than a video or just hearing about it. When it's happening right in front of you, it's not so funny. It's terrifying because you don't know what that person's going to do. They could pull a gun out and start shooting, which I did think about. That's why I wanted to get away. I guess Walmart trespassed him or something, because that's what I would have done. I'm a girl who doesn't like conflict. When I went into Walmart, I found it, but I didn't start it. I was 19 at the time, and he started following me in the Walmart parking lot. He pulled up next to my mom's car, which I drove to the store to get some stuff for myself. The second I got out of my car, so did he. I only noticed him because he was staring at me and wouldn't take his eyes off me. The man was dressed in flip-flops, old people shorts that went up past his waist, suspenders and sunglasses. He didn't have a shirt on, just the suspenders. It was pretty gross to look at since his chest was pretty much bigger than mine. So this guy couldn't afford clothing, but he could afford a camera. That's what he did the whole time he was following me around the store. He took pictures. So I didn't know anything was really wrong until I got in the store and he followed me directly into the back where the hair care products were. He kept dipping around the corner and snapping pictures of me. I decided to leave that aisle and go to the cat toys since I kind of needed some of those. He followed me over there and there wasn't a place to hide over there. He didn't hide. He just stood behind me and tried to sneakily snap photos of me from behind. I had on jeans, so I think I know why he was trying to snap photos of me. So I turned around and told him to stop, but he acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. I told him he needed to stop taking photos of me, camera in hand. He again denied it. I ran to the front of the store to let an employee know what he was doing. They confronted him because he'd followed me to the front of the store like an idiot. They tried to remove him from the store, but he started screaming at the employees that asked him to leave. He yelled something about he has a right to be in the store. They kept telling him that he couldn't be taking pictures of people in here. The police had to be called and everything, but he fought and screamed all the way out. I was at least able to finish shopping without some old man taking pictures of me and making me uncomfortable. It's really rude and creepy to take pictures of someone without them knowing. So at least keep that on the list of things never to do. My name is Marcus, and this happened recently. I went down to Walmart one afternoon, and I was walking around with a friend who didn't have anything to do with me. We walked around the store and just looked at stuff, but there was something that caught my friend's eye. There was a guy next to us in an aisle with a pair of underwear on his face. I thought it was funny, but I didn't react as to not be so rude. I gave him a quick glance and I looked away. This guy had to have been baiting someone for a reaction because he started in on me. Neither of us said anything to him but he started yelling, asking what the fuck I was looking at. I said I didn't say anything to him, and he shouldn't yell at me for no reason. He continued yelling, but when I turned to look at him, I saw it. There was a brown stain on his underwear that he was wearing on his face. I couldn't hold back my smirk, and he got more pissed off. 
I'm sorry, it was funny, I couldn't help it. The guy decided it was time for a fight right then and there. I don't get in the fights, and this will be my first time ever I'd had to defend myself in my life. But the guy started slapping at me and yelling about how I was laughing at him. In an attempt to derail the situation, my friend said for him to walk away. The man had no intention of doing that. He kept walking towards me and slapping at me. He finally hit me and I told him he needed to back off before he gets hurt. I was afraid that he might try to do something and this man was pretty big. The next thing he threw at me wasn't a slap but a punch. Dude, if you're that insecure about wearing shitty underwear out in public, go get a real face mask. They're like a dollar on the high end. So he hit me in the face with his fist. I didn't try to fight back, although I was thinking about it. But he kept walking towards me as I was walking backwards with my hands up. I was trying to back far enough away that we were out of the aisle before turning and running. When we got halfway down the aisle, he lunged at me and grabbed my shirt to keep me from running. That's when my friend attacked him to make him let me go. Several employees saw this and started walking over. When he finally lost his grip on my shirt, I turned and ran far enough away where the employees blocked him and he swung on one of them. The police were called and the man was arrested for all that. I gave the police my statement as well as everyone else who saw him. I went home that afternoon with a bruise on my forehead, but I decided not to press charges. That guy just needs to know not to go to Walmart to start a fight with anyone. Maybe in the future he'll think twice about that sort of thing, and buy a mask that doesn't have shit all over it. If you like this video, consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss an upload. I just have one question for you. Who is that behind you?